Go. Call to order the Emergency Services Efficiency Committee at the Town of Willington, 6.30 p.m., November 18th. Uh, thank you all for attending. Uh, I don't think we have any alternates to seat, so I think we're good to go. Uh, is there, nobody's present to speak. Everybody's here on the committee. Thank God. All right, Chairman's Minute. That, that just gives me a space to talk and I and so first of all thank you very much for showing up second of all thank you for your patience on times and dates and stuff that I keep screwing up because I I'm completely out of step on this um it's been close to three years since we've met and I'm not sure exactly what we accomplished if anything and where we're going if anywhere and what our future dates and meetings are However, I've been asked to uh, reconvene the committee at the behest of uh, CIP and uh, the first select. So here we are. Uh, I think that the most valuable part of this committee from my viewpoint is that there's three parties that have interests here, Willington One, Willington Hill, and the town of Willington. So this will be. What I think is valuable is the communication. And uh, I, I don't think we need a lot of uh, animosity or anything like that. And not, not that I'm seeing it. Thank you very much for that. Um, so what I'd like to do is I'd like to discuss the where, where, where we think we can get to. Does anybody have any ideas? How and how to get there? We, we had that long... Uh, what was that thing called, Tyler? The, where we went through all the possibilities and knocked them off oh, one at a time. The SWOT analysis. SWOT analysis. We did a SWOT analysis, which I still have on my computer at home, even though the computer that I wrote it on died. I did get it transferred. But um, I'm, I'm going to give somebody else room to talk here for a minute if they want to. Yeah, like you mentioned, there's three entities. You have the two, the two departments, you have the town representing. What, what are the expectations, if, like you said, if any of the two agencies and uh, of the three agencies, you know, you're representing the town, what, what, what do you kind of expect out of the group? Uh, what? Tom and Alec, what do you guys expect out of the group? Again, if, if anything, is it is it worthwhile? Is it not worthwhile? Is it something that we're just adding to our already busy, our stressful time. schedules? <laughs> yeah, so if that's the case. I think what we should do yeah. here is have the two chiefs, the two presidents, and the town advocate. If they want to meet every other month, every month, discuss what they want. I mean, you got how many people here trying to get everybody together? Well, maybe we could talk about motivations. What's, well, what's getting us here? Yeah. Yeah. First of all, like why we're here. All right. Yeah, that's that's I think the very next step is why we're here tonight. But uh I was thinking a lot, lot, a lot along exactly the lines of exactly what you said is that I I don't want surprises. I think that's that's the big thing is I've been I've made it to one or two of your meetings and one or two of your meetings, and I don't want the meetings at your place to be a surprise to them, and I don't want them to be a surprise to you. I want to open up some of those lines of communication so that I think it. At least in the last since the, the beginning of COVID, the communication between the two departments has been much better. Uh, okay, I think Tom and I talk more than we, we don't talk every week. But if there's no. a large incident, if there's something that is going on, we're always reaching out to each other. If we know that there's a problem or something is going on, we have a problem with one of the two. You know, he has a problem with something from us. He always reaches out. I have a problem. I reach out. Um, I think the lines of communication between the two departments, the training has been better. Could it be all, could it be better? Absolutely. It could always be better. Uh, but I, I think we're a lot better off than we were years ago. So, well, I don't know your been a problem for 70 years. So and I, I, think, I think I agree with Alex. And then, like I said, we communicate, the departments are working together, I think, better than ever. Mm -hmm. I mean, we don't do everything perfect. No. And is there personality differences? Yes. But as when it comes to the jobs and when it comes to the media trainings, like you said, 
we're doing better and better each time. And I don't think that that's the issue. I think the issue is to see if the expenses can be, you know, consolidated a little better and, and um, make the town happier in that regard. You know, I think that's absolutely right. That's that's what, you know, so I, I'm not quite sure how, but. What I'm seeing is that the communication when it comes to emergencies, when it comes to money, when it comes to just about everything is much better. The only pitching point I see is, is like you said, the personalities and the rumors and that kind of stuff. A lot of that, which I think would be killed if we discuss some of those, but it, I'm not sure that can be done at a public meeting. Well, well, when I say that stuff, Peter, I mean, things pop up like uh, they, again there may be personality difference when you have large groups there's right. always going to be personality right. they're never going to solve anybody make everybody happy so but when when something comes up that is i think significant that there's a gripe or something like that again like alex said i talked to him and he mm -hmm. doesn't say it to me you know when it comes to real personality issues there's always you know griping like somebody doesn't like this one or doesn't get along with that one perfectly but not to where it affects the operations of the departments so, so I think again. No, I, that that's exactly what I was saying. Is that it's not the operational level. It's there's yeah, the there's like I don't think you'll ever stop. No, no, I don't think we can stop it. Even if we were one, even if we were one department, yeah, right? Yeah. yeah, it's happening within each department, yeah, also yeah. between yeah, yeah. any any large group. There's always yeah. going to be animosity, right? Tip the tap, whatever you know. And you're ne you're never going to stop it unless you have like two people even bigger. <laughs> but so again, I think you know the, the money side of it and, and to satisfy the town's I don't know what I was saying, I guess demands for, for better expenses or, or um, things like that, a more efficient way financially. Yeah, but I don't know from where I sit, I'm not sure how. You know, whether it's two departments, one department, I don't think there's gonna be any no I, I I think I think we've uh beat the one department idea to death. Yeah, I mean, again, I, I don't think it's- Like you said, I mean, will looking it, at it from, a will financial, from a financial standpoint, I don't right. think there's any gain. I don't know why there's- How many studies were there, Tyler? Three? Uh, three. Uh, <laughs> at least two. Going back to- At least two. Part of Eagles Yeah, three or four. There's three, three, or three or that have been paid yeah. for. Yeah. yeah, three consultant studies that have been paid for. Yeah. And the and you're right. What you're hinting to, Peter, is that all three of those, none of those came up with a big smoking gun, which no. is why the town never forced it to happen. Because the the big smoking gun would be money, right? And mm -hmm. it's not going to get much cheaper, or maybe any no. cheaper. Well, yeah. And mm -hmm. and so there are efficiencies. Sure, there were things that were pointed out, but there wasn't the big hammer the town's usually looking for is money. And I think that's really that's why this bubbled up now. That's why I told you that CIP was talking mm -hmm. about it because there was a, on one of the walkthrough tours recently, the conversation was, we need to do a better job of planning. We need to understand now that the school's coming along and potentially gonna be looking for the taxpayers to hook up with a 20, 30, $40 million <clears throat> bond. Now the attention on what the fire stations are gonna cost becomes a bigger question. Mm -hmm. So I think that's where that's where this group may be valuable, regardless of one department or two. That's where this group may be valuable in helping to prepare for that. Well, prepare the, for long-term goals. One, one of the things that's extremely important to understand, however, is that over the years, going back to um, even the time uh, prior to Ron being chief, you know, we're talking about all these studies that have been done. Now, studies are facilitated by the town because they don't like, understand, or believe the people that are presenting their capital improvement plans. That's just a fact. Mm -hmm. You want validation. So what does the town do? You hire a consultant. Every single study that's been conducted, the town of Willington has never once followed through with any recommendation on that study. It's a vicious right. cycle of spending taxpayers' money for a professional opinion, because evidently we in the fire department don't believe it, we what we're talking about. <laughs> so we're going to hire a consultant. Oh my God, they recommend a new firehouse? Ah, we ain't doing that, that's stupid. Right. A new fire truck? That's insane, we're not doing that. Right, the smoking gun, as yeah. I was saying, that they and wanted was they wanted a cost savings. Yeah. They wanted the consultant to tell them that we were doing so, something wrong. Right. So, for, so without, without being overly uh, you know, pessimistic, 
if the town is going to commission these studies, if you're going to look at me and say, listen, this is going to be our guide moving forward, you actually have to follow through with what, what's being recommended. Be prepared to do something. Yeah. And, and put some dollars towards it, right. or you're going to be in the exact same spot you were in before. And that's where we are. We've, the town has spent over $100,000 or more on studies <laughs> for the fire, just for the fire service. Some said consolidate, some said don't. So that one of them, the one that Harley Field did, um, rest in peace, had an entire apparatus replacement schedule laid out for both departments. That if memory serves me right, we all collectively agreed with that apparatus replacement schedule. Mm -hmm. Never followed it. Because when it came time to buy one, oh my God, we gotta push that out. We gotta push that out. Here we are, still running fire trucks that were built in 1990. We've got a new, we got got a new cloud truck though. Well, thank God for that. <laughs> so, get me going. So, you have to understand <laughs> our, our frustration to, and I don't want to speak for Tom or Willie to Hill by no means, but there is a huge level of frustration when you come every single year to the CIP committee mm -hmm. and make a presentation and you're get, you know, for whatever reason, dismissed. And then, well, we're, we are going to spend some money, not on you, but on a, on a study that's going to tell us what to do as a CIP committee or as a town. Ah, we're not going to do that either. That thing's done. It's tough. It, it puts everybody in a really, really tough spot because you're not gaining any ground. You're not gaining anything except pissing away taxpayers' money. So I agree with you 100%, Tyler. For years. But that years. also, that also, I think, helps support why this is an opportunity. This is an opportunity for the knuckleheads in the room, whichever ones want to meet, is you know just because you use that term to to come together with a, a plan and. And bring only, it to CIP. The only, you know, in my opinion, the only ground that I think has been, that has been like that gained is the right word. The only progress I've seen in the last 10 years of reviewing CIP um, plans is, is the taxpayer, well, through CIP to the board of selectmen, through the taxpayers of approving the CIP plan or approving the budget every year, you've actually, could, give me a dollar for you, you could, the town has contributed what? Over 100 grand to development of plans for an addition to the, to the North Station. Is that a rough number? Well, 180,000. That's the only movement that's ever, that's any tangible movement towards a goal. Um, and, you know, and, you know, I don't want to speak for Alex or, or Ron, but, you know, the last couple of years of CIP, when you're going to say, okay, we kind of need some bigger dollars now, some six figures to get this thing really going. And it's, you know, it's very easy to say, oh, we'll do it next year, we'll do it next year. I get it. It's money. It sticks. Um, but we all we have you know needs that we've identified internally. We've identified and agreed to at groups like this that have been identified and agreed to by people doing studies, which has in turn been identified and agreed to by the townspeople the, by by virtue of voting in, in favorably for it in a town meeting or the uh, the referendum for the budget, but it doesn't get followed through on. Mm -hmm. So you know, as we sit today, the one thing that I think that is I don't even know if it's in progress, but that's the right phrase, is that there is, there was, you know, significant amounts of money being spent on moving towards an addition for the, the North Station um, for Willington One. Um, and, you know, over time, the, the CIP committee and the, and the different boards of selectmen at different times have, have kind of endorsed that idea as well. But, you know, as far as any other progress on, um, you know, Willington Hill Station or the, uh, you know, a formal apparatus replacement plan or anything like that. It's all just stagnant and dead in the water. And it's really, you know, who's going to go to CIP and do the best presentation and, and woo everybody that's there and, and hopefully get it out of committee and get the board selectmen to buy into it. And I don't want to speak for Tom, but I think one of the most frustrating things is him and I every year sit together, go over our CIP plan and submit a plan together. Mm -hmm. to get well, to let's be honest, that doesn't always happen. It didn't, with, always it didn't with me. We don't submit the plan. The last couple of years, we haven't submitted. We haven't submitted, but we're always because. <coughs> well, it just gets torn apart. The but one, every year. The one we year we did try to submit it completely jointly. Absolutely. Where we left the department name blank. Okay. Split apart. And, and, the, still first, split and apart. the first yeah. question the Board of Finance asked, which department is that Who, for? Which one? And they went yeah. down the list. Which should not matter. Which was right. really frustrating. It should not matter. It disassembled the whole thing. Even last year, Tom and I sat and met and went over every project that both of us were submitting. Yep. Well, maybe it was the year before. One of the years recently, you ended up just having to submit. Well, we because you guys had missed did. again we each other. Did. Yeah, we we discussed it. Yeah, but we didn't like he turned his in when he had to, and I turned right. mine in when we had to. 
Like I didn't realize was, that he had turned in his book. Yeah, it was just the timing of yeah, yeah. The, the submissions. But we know we're not. We have talked to, and both of us knew what we were both doing. It wasn't that we don't talk about what the projects are, or, you know, and what's coming down. You know, we've had joint plans. We've had, but it doesn't matter when we get to CIP. It always gets torn apart. So again, my feeling is that that. Tyler's exactly right. This goes in a circle Absolutely. over and over and over. And, and it would be super easy for this time around and this group to end up not netting much result also. It would be really easy. Whether we fail to do it, whether the town fails to listen to us, whether we fail to meet again after two years, there are a lot of opportunities for this to go, not go anywhere. But maybe it's in the fire department's interest this time that we can pull together that we take this opportunity because for various years, both departments have been told the same story. Years ago, right after the library was built, Willington Hill was told repeatedly, when we pay down the library bond, you can talk to us about a station. Then in little more recent years, Willington One's been getting told that story. When we pay down the fire department, the library bond, we can start funding the work on your fire station. Right. So what they didn't anticipate was a school over there. Right, and now that's the big that's one, right. okay? Now that's gonna, it doesn't matter who's getting what story when anymore. Now we're all up against the school thing. The school thing will probably go through and it's gonna be, we saw the numbers the other night, the smallest amount the taxpayers are gonna cover is probably $26 million on a bond. Everyone's gonna say there's no more money left for anybody else's projects, right? And we still got Village Hill Road, we got Schofield Road, we got all these things that, legitimately need money too. Yeah. So I think we have, we have like nine options up on the board, right? After we did the SWOT analysis, we, we made that matrix of all the different options. A lot of them were ridiculous or, or it not gonna work for us. The minimum I think we all kind of agreed on was we could at least work with the town to update the contract. And the town could get a couple of things they wanted out of that, which was assuring their training was done together because there's a real operational benefit there, right? training together, assuring that the chiefs meet with, or the presidents, whoever, meet with the town every so often. Those kind of things seem like they're easy things to hopefully get more cooperation with the town, get a plan going with the town. But this, to me, especially because I'm on CIP and Board of Finance, this to me I see as a great opportunity for this group to help get the fire departments lined up to not get shoved aside for another 20 years while that school bond is, or 30 years or 40 years. Well, that school bond is paid off because that's going to be a big dollar per year thing. So what do we want? Do we want to get a couple stages out of it? What do we want to ask for? Do we want to try to get a municipal bond all done at the same time when they do the school? So it's easier for the taxpayers to swallow? I don't know, but I think it's going to be and really we, easy for a year from now for us to be sitting there saying we got nothing. What are the, what are the, uh, no, no, collectively you guys, is the, is the modification to you to or, or or a new construction to your fire is that the number one priority see for you guys? that's that's what i want to come out of here exactly i don't exactly know exactly that i must be your leader i, I want think the firehouse is our number one so for us, i want i want I, you I, guys I, to know what they're thinking i yeah, want them yeah, to know exactly. what you're thinking for also us. what i want to do is is think longer term than this year yeah. and what i want is when you go to cip and you say i need XYZ tool, they're there going, they need XYZ tool. I want them to support your request. I want you to support their request. All right. I want you to be working together and to come up with a a, a, a longer term plan than this year, five years. I want I want you, where are we going to be in 20 years? Does anybody think 20 years? Have you talked to them where they want to be in 20 years? Well, it's and they talk to you about where they want to be in 20. See, that's what, what I want. What, what's interesting though, Pete, is that you know, capital improvement committees were developed many, many years ago to look at capital outlays zero to 20 years. And now they're looking zero that, to five. Capital improvement they never looks past the upcoming fiscal year, right? You yeah. don't care about one, two, three, four, five, they, they, they look the year care. five, they don't care, but. From a financial from a funny but, perspective, but the years two but through years, five are pretty easy to say we'll get back to that. Well, that, that. And, and your five means. Uh, we don't want to think about it, and yeah, so we're going to put it off for a couple. If you years. go through the minutes, you look, and every single year, and I'm not picking on anybody, so don't get cranky. Again. <laughs> four, four point I'm ballpark number: four point five million for a fire for Wilmington Hill. 
2013, out. 2014, out. 15, 16, 17, out, 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 out. Yep. yep. And let me go back. Let me go back quick and answer your question. Yes, it's a number one priority for us, for okay. the firehouse. We desperately need it. Yep. But we're looking at it like this circle's been going on for how many years? Mm -hmm. Have we talked about all night? Tonight. It's a yeah. You know, so we're like, it's not going to happen. We need it, but yeah. No I, mean, I, I think nobody's I, helping. It's not going to happen. I think different political and fiscal climates can dictate whether things like that can happen or not. We've been told over the years, like regarding the addition, we go, well, we're going to be doing a bond for this, but we like to, we're going to do a road bond. We're going to throw it on that. That just never came to fruition. So, you know, I think, and Mike, I don't put words in your mouth, but I mean, are, are, are you suggesting that perhaps um, both agencies getting their ducks in a row to perhaps um, have a vision towards being on that bond? I think that's a great way to present it. I think, I think both agencies putting a vision together that they stand in front of CIP and the selectmen and the board of finance and say, we built this together. This is a plan that we both agree on and no one is, and, and looking at those people and saying, we know there's a history of the departments not getting along, but this is a legit plan from both departments. We both agree on each other's plan. And whether you do it on the school bond or anything else. I, I, I think it's more important that you go one step beyond that. Not that we agree this is the plan, but we support their That was their the point plan. I was trying to make. I, there's, gotta yes. be, there's gotta be some mutual support when you come to CIP, as well as uh, we agree with it. Uh, we, we can see where they need that. That's. That's not, that's not, you gotta, you gotta sell. And there's some equal culpability there from the town's point. When I say the town, I'm speaking of current past administration, the Board of Finance, CIP, right. and the Board of Selectors. There's some culpability that, go, that, that they, they have to shoulder some of that burden to for inaction. You can't continue yeah. to put it all on the two fire services' shoulder. We are very, we are, we're our own worst enemy in some cases. We're very easy to, in, in, a, in a meeting where you're talking about expenditures, um, whether it's by coincidence, whether it's blatant or it's very easy to, to put a wedge between the two of them on purpose towards a common goal where none of you is getting nothing. They can't get along. We're not going to do anything. And that's reflected in minutes too in the past. Mm -hmm. Until they get along, we're not going to give them anything. Yeah, but they need an ambulance. No, nope, not getting until they get along. Who the hell does that help? Right. It no doesn't help anybody. It that's, nobody. That's why I want that's you to exactly know. my point. So I want um, this kumbaya and, moment. And I think for now, especially in years past, we're more united and do stuff together than we've ever done. I think we get along. We, you know, Tom and I would say we talk. And I think we've made it very clear that our number one priority is the station because mm -hmm. we have some very big deficiencies with the staff. And you have justifications. Right? Yeah, I mean, right. we have some studies. Oh, yeah, I mean, it's just having the two people there. And you already you, you, said you already said the, studies are irrelevant. <laughs> you know, there are all the people like you who guess whole public office, not me. <laughs> oh, now we're getting into it. Oh, listen, this throws better than your coffee. <laughs> and him too, it's like CIP. So it, it's just I, that is our we, we have some and, very big deficiencies. And in saying that, on. knowing that this isn't. This isn't a, a moment where we're suggesting an open checkbook. You want this, so it's wants and needs. You know, you, you want five million dollars. Well, that was five million dollars ten years ago. I don't know what the hell it would be now. You want you want a brand new firehouse. We may want a brand new firehouse. Well, the reality is you're probably not going to get a new brand new firehouse. So where do you go from here? Right. Let's you know. Let's collectively get together, perhaps, and figure out how we can get what we need to do well and thrive for the next ten to twenty years instead of building a Metropolis, it's going to last us 99 years. Maybe it's just not possible to do that. Um, but so I, I, you know, I, I've been sitting on the board of finance a long time, and I sat on CIP until it, it from my mental health, I left. Me. I understand. <laughs> yes, I, I knew you could feel my pain on that. <coughs> but when it, the new ambulance, the one we just got with the ARPA, the ARPA money, the new use green machine, green, green machine. I, I don't know, I haven't even seen the thing yet. It's I, in the parking lot. Oh, okay, I should stop over and take a look at it. It's green, can't miss it. Okay. Looks like a town truck. <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, it's a special green paint because someone else paid a lot for it. Yeah, <laughs> they were nice enough to put that. Yeah, right. But <laughs> when that was coming up, 
their department should have been there saying, yeah, they need that. Tom did say that in ARPA. Okay. When, when Tom did support that. I, I don't show up to ARPA meetings because I can only go to about five or six town meetings a month and, and then, then my brain just says uh, no. But uh, I'm, I'm, I'm glad to hear that you did. But I mean, there's a lot of things that they, either one of us may support or, or maybe slightly right. disagree, like the green color. I don't yeah. know, but, uh, but we don't just, we don't we didn't pick the green color. color. Yeah, right. Yeah. But like I said, I'm just yeah. totally not that. Like I said, we we kind of leave it up to them if they feel that they need, you know. Right. No. Uh, see, a, a that, branch. That, you know. Okay. If we if we adequately say, well, that's really but really stupid. See, what I, I want to do is. I would talk to Alex and we'd, we'd talk. But right. When, again, when you like come to that wrench, I I don't want you, him to be buying metric wrenches and you to be buying you uh, whatever. No, no, no but, we, we don't. but we have those but conversations of I they did. need hose or air packs or something like that. We do have that conversation. And it's no different with, we've said this before also, it's no different with Mansfield. I mean, right. we buy tools that are compatible with most operations and we can go to Mansfield and work with them. Beautiful. They can come here to work with us. We don't say anything about what they buy. In Mansfield. Right. You know, and it's kind of the same thing. I mean, they're buying stuff that that they need that that's operationally for the town and stuff. And like I said, there's nothing that comes out of the, the, the past that I could come up with and say it's completely ridiculous. But like I said, there's, there's, they make their choices and we make ours because we're two separate entities. Do we have to sit there and design their station for them? No, I, I don't think so. I don't want you to design their station. Yeah. What I want you to do is is when they come to you with a design, say, I can either fully support this or I, you know, why are you doing this? And and because if they're doing running off on their own and, and there's no questions involved, I'm sure they're questioning each other internally. And then then that kind of leaks out. And you know, I what I want it, it what I like want is a long-term vision plan that people can support and that both departments can support each other. So when you come to CIP, you know, they're asking for 20, uh, I, I call them Scott packs. I know that Scott doesn't even make them anymore or something. Yeah, oh, okay. But, <laughs> but I think what you're hearing you, what you say is, yeah, they definitely need that. You know, I can stand here for my department. I'm not standing here as chief. I'm standing here for my department saying they need that. Well, we've done that in the past, Peter, where, yeah. you know, I, he's, he said that, you know, they, they back purchases that we want, we back purchases that they were. And a lot of times, like Tyler said earlier, it doesn't matter. Yeah. It doesn't matter. I mean, you, you can sit there and say, I mean, if I came in here and said, yeah, you know, they definitely need that station exactly the way they got it drawn, are they going to get it? You know, is it going to make a difference? I, mean, I, I think it might. I don't think that I can say I they're going to get it, but I think it might make a difference. I think we we're also hearing Peter though is that it you know, um, and and you know I was chief for twenty years before Alex and, and the relationship wasn't always uh, fantastic. What what I think you have here today is a, a different level of of uh, cooperation and, and understanding between the two is you, you probably haven't had in a long time. And without putting words in there, in Milton the Hill's mouth, what we're looking for is that same type of cooperation, understanding, and support. From the people that deal with the purse strings. Mm -hmm. But the problem with that is those boards are transient. You go the to boards. five, six meetings a month, yeah. you get sick of it, do it for a couple of years, and then I've had enough and I'm gone. And we go to a meeting and you got to go back to square one. Yeah. And nobody There's knows what you're talking about. I you said that because I made a comment the other day to another fire, a friend of mine is a fire chief. And I said, he's new. I said, wait till, wait till you go to the board of finance year after year and I have to explain yourself. I'd explain myself in 20 years, eight times. Yes, there's people that get paid and willing to one. <laughs> It's this vicious cycle. They start it's still, all it's it's growing fast now. now. It's oh, growing yeah. You know, you start this, this all, whole, this whole yeah. education yeah. process. Like, here's like, budget season. Kind of jogging in place. I, I you, know, you know, I, I want to tell you that I feel your pain kind of because you go to these town meetings ask it, where they, they have a motion to give $100,000. People are asking at that meeting questions that have been answered at every sure. single board of finance meeting. Yeah. The meeting where we approve the thing. The, uh, the first sele the selectmen's meeting it's been explained at town meeting in public minutes 30 40 times sometimes those same people were at the previous meetings where and it was asked the same question and, yes. and, the same, and 
I and on top ask of that, you have somebody ask a question. The, the third person after that asks the same question that that person just asked. So if you think you're going to educate anybody long term, it's 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 uh, yeah. I think it's that's what it's mission. It's, it's very frustrating. I mean, like like you said, you go back. You have, you have three you have three entities. You have the two agencies. And you have the town. Right. The town encompassing CIP, board of select, and board of finance, and whoever else are out there. Yeah, I think um, I think you're also forgetting town meeting. Which is a whole other whole. Well, the, 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 right. the, the yeah, the the, the body anything over ten thousand dollars. Yeah, yeah, I mean, all those people have to get involved and get on the same page. And I, I sitting here right now, I don't think that the two agencies are necessarily the root of the problem. I think you know, what you're hearing is years of what I would consider lack of understanding and support for emergency services of women. Okay. Agreed. That, that's I think Agreed. that's the best way to say. But what can we do about it? We're giving up our Friday night to be I here. What know. can we do? Yeah. And that's is the it, hard part. Is, is it public education? Is I don't know what it is. I don't know. Public education, because you look around the table, people join the fire service, and for the most part, they stay around. It becomes generational. Um, so we do know what's going on. We do know what we need. I think to make the boards understand that. These aren't just a bunch of schmucks. These guys have been around for a while. They learn from their elders and what's been right, what's been wrong. Yeah, yeah we're, running, we're, running, we're running businesses. Yeah, it is. It's a big business. We're running business. Again, that's nice. a great message. How do we take that? What do we get out of this? How do, how do we, we take that to the Board of Finance and stuff? And how in the CIP when we're, you know, because we know CIP is going to be the first yeah. leg of our journey this year again. So I think as much of the as much of the presentation, whether it's CIP, Board of Finance, Town Meeting, as much of it that can be sort of on one sheet of paper, I don't mean necessarily actually on one sheet of paper, but as much as possible, and can be, you can have a representative of each department standing up together saying, you know, this is our dog and pony show. We both met, our departments both support this. This is what we see as a good vision for the town. Yeah, that's exactly what, what we're already talking about. As much as it can be a unified message. And, and I'm perfectly fine. Uh, and then that, I think part. that's a bet uh, that improves the chances. Unified and formalized. Yes. Yes. Right. Yes. It's Professionalize it. Yeah. You've yep. done the presentations. We've done yep. the handouts and people, oh yeah. yeah. No, you can't have it. So, yeah. so there was a time period where Tyler and I happened to be the two chiefs years ago. And we ran up against Board of Finance. Ken Shopman pulled yep. the plug on two fire trucks. Yep. And Tyler and I unified. We wrote a letter together. And we, Ken was a nice guy, but we politely threatened to run him up the flagpole hmm. for not supporting the needs of emergency services. And I'm not saying that it was the threat necessarily it matters. It was that we were unified in saying, yep. you're not allowing us to provide the service that we need to provide to the town. We wrote a very strongly worded letter and we ended up getting the two fire trucks in, in, in steps. Yep. Willington Hill got theirs, then yep. Willington One got theirs. It was spread out a little bit. But the point was made that the two departments are asking for something together. They support this together mm -hmm. and they need it. And, it. and it did work. So, I mean, a, a succinct message in, a, in a, perhaps a more formal manner, what medium that is, I'm not exactly sure that, you know, if, if the two fire departments are going to CIP on the same night, you know, and you can, you, everyone sits here, you, you can read the room. Instead of you sitting over there, Alex sitting over here, maybe you two sit next, next to each other and say, this, will, this is our plan. And when, and inevitably it's going to happen. Well, we'll let you know, stop, stop. We're here as a unified front for the fire service of Wellington. This is what we think is necessary. Mm -hmm. And this is why. Yeah, I agree. Don't allow the, 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 the mission creep of trying to divide. Yeah. Um, you know, I agree. Much, much, more, much more political approach and a tactical approach mm -hmm. in a more formalized manner, perhaps, is the best way to. You both wear something with the fire department. You wear like the black polo shirt if you want or whatever. Mm -hmm. You <laughs> both wear something with the fire department names on it to add that little extra sense of authority or what representation or whatever. You present together. Still have the individual CIP requests because you need the forms, right? And that's where everything got picked apart those other times. Which oh, yeah. one does this go to? But maybe well, take the so information here that we even make a little spreadsheet. Make a little spreadsheet that says, you know, this is this year, 
Willington Hills request, Willington One's request. So it's all unified on one piece of paper mm -hmm. as the cover sheet. Put that in with it, and that way people can look and say, oh, this for this, and this for this. I believe one thing we did that year as well is when we prior we sat down together and we prioritized all the projects together. So there's you know one out of nine, two out of nine, three out of nine. But quick quick run time, we sat down and yeah. we're able to work that out. So this is our priorities collectively that we agreed to. But that only happened one year when CIP and Board of Finance couldn't care less apparently and said, you know, we don't we want to know what department is for before we even talk about this. So do we go in blind again and try to and they'll probably figure it out from previous year requests anyways, but and do you have um, any I mean, like we're talking CIP now, but are do you have anything that's big coming up this year? The only thing I'm going to add in there is replacement of the rescue. That's going to be five years out. Five years out of the road. Yeah. No, you don't need that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and no one cares about what you're funding on your five anyway, right? <laughs> so, okay. Push it out. Push I it out. Have to push it out. We still, we that's have what, a 96? Collectively yeah. come up with our plan, but because of the status of, status of Fund 17, we're not going to, there, there's not a whole lot we're asking for. Uh, I think, I don't Stuart, Trevor, correct me if I'm wrong. We didn't have anything big for this year because Fund 17 just can't stabilize this year. Oh, yeah, it's lots of needs. Yeah. What do you need? What do, what do you need? The, the first tool is making your, your operation deficient right. right now. Our our biggest thing that we're going to need after this, uh, the station is priority number one. The other part is the Hearst tools. Now that Hearst will not repair anything on our truck, we have to switch to the. Yeah. So our electric power unit died. Yeah. And we sniffed around a bit. We found one in West Stafford because they'd swept, swapped to the e tools and we bought it off them used. Hearst doesn't sell it anymore, even new, doesn't have the parts for it, and will no longer support it. And well, that's a great CIP thing. <laughs> <And> the fact <laughs> that and my God, it's factual. No way. One circuit of that pump was down 30%. And, and on top of it, I 100% agree. Yeah. <laughs> and you replace the towel. So we're making progress <laughs> already. Yeah. Look at that. Check. <laughs> Took 35 minutes, but we're getting somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's those are again, yeah. you know, I, I keep saying it, and there's a lot of wants, wants and needs. There's a lot yeah. of wants. Yeah, when, when, when I was chief, you used to sit down and, and officer me and say, Listen, let's talk about the, uh, developing our, our CIP plan this year. The paperwork came out, blah, blah, blah. You have three seconds wants and needs. Well, I guess there ain't too many, too many needs, are there? No one could, you can't think of it. You know, you know we, we used to do need. a wish list meeting. Yeah. But then it got to the point where we could never get the stuff for the <laughs> wish list. It became a futile effort. Oh, Mike, I have a quick question, just for my own my own knowledge. You mentioned that the um, the early estimates on the the school was a twenty nine million cut twenty nine million contribution by the taxpayers. Is that the twenty six? Twenty six. So, I think is that the, the seventy percent. Is that the thirty percent and the seventy? I'm trying to remember all the different numbers. What's the total? The, what's the total number? The total number, I think the cheapest option was like $38 million. Do you remember the 38 million for the credit? 38 I, I, million I and the most the expensive option was 40 some million. And then there were varying levels of um, state support, whether it was renovation to Hall School or new construction. There's different percentages oh, of support. Because yeah, new, new renovation, new construction are different percentages for- Yeah, so right now renovation is 65 point something percent yeah. reimbursement from the state. New is 55 point something percent. But then Willington, because Willington's a small school zero. district, um, because Willington's a small district, the space calculations don't really work out right. So we're over on space oh. for compared to the state's formula, because like if you consider the amount of hallway space you need or the amount of gymnasium space you need, like a basketball court is one size, whether you have 400 kids or 600 kids, the basketball court's the same size. So when you divide square footage by the amount of kids, you start to get penalized with smaller schools. Do they look at declining enrollment or no? Enrollment's already been established um, at steady for the next, for the years that the state wants to look at, it's established at basically steady. Oh. We're at like 413 kids right now. And the enrollment expert said the most he expects we'll see is like 418, 420. So he's estimating flat for 10 years. So it's 20, 26 was a rough number. So roughly 26, I think that I think the cheapest option was in the mid to low 20 millions and the most expensive option to the taxpayers was like 30 million. And what at what stage um, and pardon me, the the this investigating committee or the school committee, at what stage are they, are they in 
um, as far well, as how, the, are they getting is the ultimate goal to present something to the town at referendum and how this soon? coming March this they want to go to referendum in March with a, a, a price tag to, to vote on. of 20 some million dollars to get taxpayer approval to move forward yes because the application window for the state for reimbursement is June only and then you have to wait another year so, so the hope would be to get everything in line for a March 23 referendum so that the application could go in in June and that's, to the state. So that March would be middle of or post budget. It'd be right in the middle of the budget. Of the budget. Okay. Um, so you guys are March, uh, well, yeah, the I, second week so, of March is the last scheduled uh, budget meeting right now, but then the um, 20 something of March would be the one that's the optional meeting if the board needs it. From we the, just did the schedule last night. From the board of finance perspective, I don't, I don't, I'm not um, suggesting you talk out of school. Are you guys, is, that, is it on your radar, on the board of finance's radar that you could be dealing with a, a 25, $30 million bond this budget season? Yes. Yes. Or more. It's been talked about in CIP. We didn't maybe anticipate it quite this soon on CIP, right, Stuart? We were looking at it, I think, another year out or two. Yeah, realistically, that was going to go on top of the ongoing CIP. We right. Can't, as you mentioned before, we can't cut everything to zero for to 20 pay for years. School. Right. It's going to be school. It's going to be on top yeah. of the right. ongoing needs of the other department. When's the library done? Is it done? The library is done 27, right? 27. I think it's 2027. I thought it was sooner than that. I thought it was 24. Yeah, I thought it was, I thought it was relative. There's a 27 in there somewhere, huh. but maybe it's not. I, I can't. Remember. I think some of the overlap was if there was a bond coming up for the well, you would firehouse or right. roads well, or whatever. Maybe so there's that. I'm sure I have it all in there, but it would take forever well, you, to take it all out. You have out. a bond anticipation note a year ahead of time, and you could delay it another year on top of that while you're doing it. And you can do it in stages to add to the bond, too. I mean, if just because theoretically the town goes referendum in, in, in March for a, you know, the budget season, you know, you go and vote uh, for $26 million for a school, they're not going to break ground the next day and want $26 million. You have, you have a couple of years for that. So. Yeah. I think they were what yeah. twenty three months construction or something like yeah. that. So it, it was up on, it was up online the other day. So yeah. bonds can be added to along the way as needed. But yeah. that, that possibility is there too. The bottom line is, you, 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 if that's something that the two agencies want to start looking at very seriously, you better get your ducks in a row. That's that's exactly the point I'm making. I think that I think that in this budget and CIP season, the departments have to be saying something to get it on the radar. Yeah, bigger than it's been on the radar because depending on the winds of change in town and you know if the if politics over the next so next year will be a local election cycle if politics in town move more conservative um, and I'm not advocating either way I'm just saying reading the tea leaves if you look at this last election there were more uh, Republican votes cast or more votes cast for the Republican candidates we'll say in like all of the races in the results of this last one in Willington. So if that's a sign of, conser of conservative leaning in town, then this coming local election a year from now, we could likely see more conservative minded people getting elected to boards, which will tighten up the purse strings. And I'm not advocating either way. I'm not taking a political stand. I'm just saying reading the tea leaves, we have to be thinking about that. And so if the town moves more conservative, it's going to be harder to get money. Maybe the school doesn't get approved. I don't know. So, and I'm going to throw this out there, and I'm not going to hold you to this, Mike, at all. If we go in, Tom and I go in together, CIP, and say, listen, we have to do the stations, or one station, both stations, however it works out. Um, are we going to get laughed out of Board of Finance? Because that, that's what I see happening. No, we all know what the questions are going to be. Yeah. We all know what the questions are going to be. They're yeah. going to be, have you guys coordinated? Do you both agree? And are you duplicating anything? Right. Right. Just like I'll oversimplify, if both departments ask for an ambulance, right, people are going to say, oh, wait a second. Right. Why do you both need ambulances? <clears throat> you better yeah, justify it. And if you can justify it, maybe you get both ambulances. It depends on, in some cases, the political climate, but it also depends on your preparation, yep. your, your ability to, to, to present your case in a factual, understandable manner. Mm -hmm. You know, um, we need firearms. We need three million. That's a real crappy argument. Really? Now, if I give you, it works for other people there. 
And then <laughs> if I if I you know it's, give you three or four page presentation on things, I mean, right. including the background, including the studies that were done, including the minutes from the but you know yeah. there's a you got to put some work in. Yeah, um, I've seen a couple of them online. One was Hyannis Mass, and the other was Southbridge Mass. They had multi-year campaigns, and in Hyannis's case, it got voted down two times. It took them the third time to get it passed. And they had online videos, online walkthroughs of the existing stations. Oh, that is. Um, and it took them, you know, bless them that they, the amount of work that they put into it. Southbridge was a similar thing. They've been stuck in that little downtown station since what, the 1890s, I think. Yeah. And they finally got approval for a station that they're building now. But it wasn't a one year sales pitch. It was a going back to the well time after time, even Coventry was a good one. South Daventry Station, right? That right, you need a PR campaign. Center, yeah. mm -hmm. And what's going to kill, what's one of the best ways to kill a PR campaign if one of the two agencies doesn't support it, right? right. Yeah. And then when it goes to refer, uh, goes to town meeting, you need both departments to show up and, and to do, uh, I hate this word, you got to <laughs> politic a little bit. You got you to gotta be bringing in your, everybody you know from town that supports you and get them to come out on a cold night and, and and to vote. And I think if you did that, you could you could probably do pretty well. But if you're, you're trying one department by yourself without going out to the town and, and, and drumming up support, you're you're dead in the water. Yeah, Stuart, I think one of the unique differences you know we're presented with here is um, and part of my ignorance, I didn't know that we were that close to actually talking about floating a bond for the schools. I didn't know what stage they were in, but I mean, the one, it's a pretty aggressive schedule. It's the one takeaway that, that my, my partially you know, kind of removed opinion is that um, the two agencies really should form some type of a, a smaller group or committee to get together and start establishing your, your goals for CIP. If it's, you know, putting it off for one year or two years, or you want to go full boat based on your your situation being modified. I don't even know honestly where exactly we willing to one is as far as the modifications of the firehouse. Is it level and build a new one, go up sideways, left, right? I don't, I'm not even 100 percent up right now. But you get your crap together and sit down and come up with a plan and figure out how you can um you know the hard part is CIP is due in 10 days. Well yeah you got 10 days to start developing some discussion. 99% of what we're talking about is documented, done, been talked about, mm -hmm. and discussed internally. Would there be give and take on both sides? Probably. But why just man? Yeah. I mean, I agree. It's, it's the best way to present the argument. It's the best chance we have. But like Stuart said with these other departments, three years out, they put their fight in. We've been doing the same thing for more than three years. Oh, yeah. Nobody walked them, but we had it. But the, different, the, time, yeah. the difference Nobody. is that you have, you, have, you have a funding opportunity that was unexpected. That's that's the big difference here now. Agreed. Agreed. Now, whether you make it or not, all, who knows? So but I try. Every time we've talked about it, they said that they cannot put the firehouses on the same bond. They would have to do a separate bond. So there's there's been debate, and I don't think anyone's gotten the actual answer. But I think you were in some of this conversation too, Stuart. There's been debate about whether the school bond could have other municipal improvements on it or not okay. because yeah, of how the state funds the reimbursement. Right. However, there's also been some debate that you can have add-ons, as Tyler was saying, to it. You can use the same bonding opportunity yep. to get other projects. You just have to separate, separate how the paperwork's done. Or if the alternative that was discussed is you let the school bond be its own bond. And then you bond all the other municipal stuff together. Do right. a municipal improvements bond. Then you can just and you it. do fire stations, roads, whatever else is in like the next five years in CIP, you put it all into one bonding package. Right. That way you save on the bonding fees yep. and all that other stuff. Um, no, that, that is a mixed blessing. Stafford tried that right. probably five years ago at least. Yeah. So they wanted to build well. collectively a station for Staffordville on land that they already own. And they had like Witt School was in there for some, there was a whole yeah, bunch of municipal pro projects they put together. They put it in one vote to the town and it failed. The question is, why did it fail? Did it, the people didn't like the firehouse idea and they voted it down? Was it, they didn't want the overall- So some things can get they killed along the way. They didn't think the road, so you, you can get on the coattails, say, let's pretend you could get on the school bond. Is the school bond going to get shot down just because it's so big and it's a school bond? Yeah, that's why and you, that's and why you, exit polling you and you lose your firehouse opportunity if you stack those together, or the school gets in first 
can we come back two years later and try to do a firehouse and a couple million bucks for road improvements yeah. because you're top run, of the bottom just one because trip. you run the risk of the library excuse mm -hmm. yeah so tyler to your question earlier i found the i found the current cip yeah this was issued june 2nd 2021 so this is a one-year-old cip plan but it says the bond for the library is 2027 so i was right about that okay that ends in 2027 and right now the payments are even with glasses, I can't. Oh, maybe I should zoom in. Maybe I can zoom in. <laughs> Hang on, I think I can zoom in. There we go. One hundred and seventy-seven thousand dollars this year, and it's going down like oh, so four or five thousand dollars a year. It was as high as three hundred for many years. That's what I remember. Yeah, it's going down at like four, or five, six thousand dollars a year. It's dropping off. I keep so, the two estimates that we've had for uh, our building costs. One was by Castle Boost. It came in at 2.7 million. Then when we did the preliminary round of uh, drawings and things like that, our architect and a contractor that he hired uh, got together for an estimate, also 2.7. However, that number is five years old. What so just at 30%. What, yeah, what just, construction yeah, price has gone in five years? Yeah. Probably 30%. Materials. Um, yeah. Yeah. And, and so that you supply one for 30 bucks to 90. Right. You know, if we came in with the 2.7, we'd be building half the station. And well, know. yes and no, unless there's compromises that can be made but to you, let you achieve your, your ultimate goal, but may not be but the do you stick at, you, right. you stick at that dollar amount that sourced right. the Castle Boost eight years ago. Yeah, I'm not. Or do you get a again the wants versus needs? I think, I, think, I think everybody has to have a come to Jesus moment and sit down and figure out exactly what you need. Forget about the dollars for the time. Mm -hmm. What do you need? and understand that, explain it, and then start putting some numbers to it. Is it gonna be north of that? I'm sure it is just because of the, the economy. But I think the dollar part of it is almost secondary to you guys figuring out exactly what, what you want well, to do. You, know, you gotta figure out what you can sell. Yeah. Well, so, yeah. I don't getting this. Let me just, I mean, I don't, Stuart was saying that, you know, some people may not like the road projects or may not like the firehouse idea or stuff. I think it's all coming down. It's all gonna come down to the obvious is, what is it doing to the taxpayers? What's the 26 million doing to the taxpayers? Do you have any calculations? That's coming. That's the next thing they're working on. Uh, the um, consultant that the school building committee hired is actually crunching the numbers right now. He's working with, they have a division of their company that does the financial predictions. And so they're coming up and that's supposed to be coming out very soon. What the anticipated effect on taxation would be. What was the cost of the letter? Uh, let's see if it has any. Isn't that $3 million? If you work backwards on that. Yeah. If, it's, if the library was $3 million, we pay $300,000 $300, a year for 20 years. Yeah. Yeah, it yeah. says, uh, all it says yeah. here is, um, it just says 3.95% interest. Uh, so you multiply by 10. That, that three percent, three million a year. Three percent interest is long gone too. Yeah. yeah. So it's eight hundred fifty-five thousand dollars just in this five-year block that's showing on this plan, mm -hmm. and we're in the lower end. Yeah. yeah. Right. You know, we're getting to the lower and lower payments. So in those years where it was three hundred thousand dollars a year in the five-year plan, that was one point five million in that five-year plan. Me? Yeah. I mean, it might be advantageous for. Do you still chairman of CFP? No, I no oh, longer choose Sorry, Christina. Well, Christina, maybe CIP could consider paying that bottom off early. Yeah. That could be another. They've, they've got too many lease payments and trucks. Right here. <laughs> Thanks, Pete. <people. laughs> I need to shut the hell up. <laughs> that is a consideration to pay the bond pay off right. and get rid of it and get off the books. He wasn't referring to fire trucks, he was referring to, to yeah, public works dump yeah. trucks. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, you opened the door. I know, and I for the and second I, time. And I know, and I, I I apologize for that, and I was wrong. All right, so CIP is doing ten days. Ten days. Ten days. And we all have to do it on the new. Yeah, we well, 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 yeah. well, let's not even, even submit it to through there yet. Let's talk, get one at least one meeting together. Um, you know, the five-year block is what they're looking for of 
and let, can we prioritize what would be in the next five years from one to whatever and submit it that way? Um, so let, let's I, go back to the way we try to do. We do we need a formal town meeting for this public meeting or? I mean, no, it's a work, it's, it's a, a working business meeting. It's a workshop. It's a workshop. It's a workshop. All right, workshop. let's have a workshop sometime like Wednesday of next week at some time. <coughs> what, what's a better time for you guys? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, I'm working Thanksgiving. What do I care? <laughs> um, no one else is going to show up for your meeting. That's oh. what you don't care. <laughs> So I think Let's Tyler's see. right also about the come to Jesus thing. You know, for yeah, example, if Wellington Hill Tuesday. wants to build a firehouse that has 10 bunks, bunks in it, then they're gonna have to explain why they want 10 bunks. Whereas you're gonna have an easier time justifying right. bunks, right? Right. So there may be things either way. I'm not, I'm just saying yeah, as, no, a, yep, as a simple example. Absolutely. You know, so people are gonna have to like, you're gonna have to be willing to throw it all out on the table and figure out who can better justify what yep. and who might have to suck it up and take a hit on whatever and and come up with a plan that's sellable. What meets your needs? There's a fine balance. There. Yes, yes. Yeah, well, and, and, we both and, need to find a way to meet the needs of the departments. And just, you can't just meet the needs of today, right? Well, that's if we build good. something, Mm -hmm. If we build something that meets the needs of today, and then we spend the next 40 years trying to figure out how to replace it, right? That's what you explain. Like That's said, what I want. Bunks in there because okay, they right. you need to pay personnel. Right. You so know. so maybe Willington Hill has a justification for four bunks, not ten. I don't know. But that that, I mean, that castle boost though, you dust that off and take a look at it. I, I I did peruse it. It is pretty detailed, and that was that was developed with a lot of our input. Well, it fell apart in the end, though, because it didn't really do much for Willington Hill at the end, because we kind of got... You got an addition, right? It was just a... Yeah, it was the addition yeah, on the yeah, current building, land, which... But, which but, and I think there was a yes. note in there that the property is non-conforming now. And is not be, conducive. It would be even more non-conforming, no right. matter which way you built up or out. Right. It was not conducive. It. That um, was... That was part of the motivation for the piece across the street, was there's just no way to work with the piece that it's on. Okay. So... Because I, I really need to go home and feed my dogs. Um, sorry, I know that's not a good enough reason. <clears throat> what I'd like to do is, is, so there's next week, there's starting tomorrow, Saturday through whenever, you guys have got to, because next week is Thanksgiving and the Monday after that's the 28th, which is, is that when CIP is due? Yes. Monday night, are you available soon? So letters went out asking for your CIPs too. Yeah. yeah. Did, All right. Monday did the night. CIP members get that? No. You're, no, I got it as a fire department. Oh, yeah, here's, here's, I have no idea. Here's my suggestion. If you let me know when you're meeting to discuss this, I would like to be there. Then when you go to CIP, I would like to go to CIP with you. Six o'clock now is trying to be. That sounds good to me. Monday the 21st, 6 o'clock. Where do you, would you like to meet? I don't need, like I said, how do you want to structure it? Do you this, want to do all this to everybody? I mean, yeah. I I'm fine with whoever wants to go. Right. But, you know, we did discuss I had more. I would like to see this as a smaller workshop kind of thing with chiefs and, and presidents and it's maybe one or two. top top administrative and operational leader. right but i know no offense anyway that's not at the top but i, I think a smaller group well then you don't risk it being a an illegal, an illegal meeting because yeah. if the motivation is to meet for this purpose oh, just talk yeah, about yeah. It, this meeting right and then you have a quorum of members of this meeting you don't want to get into that so just have the right uh, tom you have to meet with your membership between now and uh, next week to uh you're meeting with them on the twenty second anyways, right? We meet on Tuesday night. That's our next meeting. So I don't know if you needed to run it through the membership to decide what you're putting in for or if you'd already kind of done that. No, I mean I, I think I've done that over the last few years. I mean they obviously the CIP plan, they've all agreed with it. You know, so all right. I'm I'm perfectly comfortable you with say going so much step. over there. That I mean it's not committing to the department of anything. Well this step is fine to and some pry words out of you one of these days. Yeah. 
<laughs> at some point, yeah, see you later. Yeah, after yeah, the 28, CIP has talked at least informally about trying to look at a 20 year plan, which realistically we could probably do. And it would help everybody understand the long term needs. And frankly, public works should do that too because they keep throwing drugs at us. And it's so confusing what they're doing. I just looked on this current, there are nine public works leases on this right now, this year. Um, that's sucking up that's sucking up more money than the library so Monday night, do you want to come down to our station Stuart and I are already there that's good so all right that work okay so we set this future meeting date well it's not a meeting it's date a meeting future date. Work, workshop date and then uh I will be in touch with the chiefs and the presidents on a future date for this. But the most important thing is right now is CIP workshop Monday, CIP the following Monday, which means I'll only have they don't three have a meeting meetings that Monday. Do that? I don't think so. I think it's just the cut off the submission. Oh, cut off for the submission. Yeah. I thought that's when the meeting was. No. Oh, phew. I'm missing a lot of notifications. Yeah. Because that's what he did here, right? That would be uh, three meetings all, all at the same time that I'd I'm still waiting for Christina end. to tell me when they're going to come walk through the station again. The gentleman hasn't changed in 25 years. Yeah. It's still. Yeah, they changed from last time. They walked through five times. It's all the same station. You got a new copy right. machine, all right? We did not. You <laughs> might want to see that. All right. It's just packed with a little crap. <laughs> yeah. yeah, right? So that's done. Yeah. I will be in touch on the meeting after that. I have no correspondence. Is there any good or welfare? Motion to adjourn. This. I'm wrapping this up. Motion to adjourn. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. I need a second from second. Second. So moved. We're out of here. Meeting adjourned at 7:33. Thank you, guys. Hang on. We're still recording. Don't get crazy. Before I say something, I.